In the year 300 AD, the northern garrisons of the Roman Empire were constantly besieged by barbarians in revolt. Reinforced by marauding tribes from lands far to the north, they relentlessly assailed the Roman fortresses and the territories that the Romans had conquered and pacified. Battles, massacres, sacking, burning and looting were rampant. The country was shaken by terror, violence and death. flood of barbarians swarmed over the fertile plains of Gaul, sweeping away the defenses of those who tried to resist their bloody onslaughts. sought desperately to rid themselves and Gaul of the barbarian threat. The struggle was bitter and bloody, but the stakes were the future of Roman civilization. The barbarians attacked with more and more brutality and violence, smashing the Roman strongholds, slaughtering their allies. Gaul was completely unnerved by the constant attacks, the moans of the wounded, and the flames that now spread throughout the empire. And at this arduous time, a Roman legion that had distinguished itself for years in battles against the barbarians was returning to Rome for a well-deserved rest. and into one of those taverns in Sidera. You'll forget this trip after one glass of wine. You buying glasses? Make mine a barrel or so. Don't you think we ought to stop for a while here, Darius? The men are almost exhausted. No, no, we better keep moving. We must get out of this forest before the sun goes down. Hey, we're out of the forest. We're coming into a valley. There's smoke down there. suspicious to me. First squadron forward. Everybody else wait here.
barbarians caught us off guard. They killed everyone. And they robbed the gold. The captain didn't look much like a barbarian, but... Sounds to me like horses. Stand by, men, for action. Here they are. It's all right. They're Romans. It looks as if we've arrived too late. One of them told us before he died that they'd been ambushed by barbarians and robbed of gold. That was precisely what I was afraid of. Who are you? Darius, commander of the 10th Legion. I've already heard tell of you. I heard you fought a magnificent battle against the Teutons on the banks of the Rhine. From what they told me back in Rome, you were supremely courageous and fought the battle with great skill. We were lucky, that's all. You don't like talking about your campaigns, do you? No. I am Claudius, first proconsul of the Emperor Diocletian. I suppose you'd like to know what I'm doing here in Gaul. It's really no business of mine. I've just one problem, taking these men back to Rome. Yes, I can imagine. Going back to Rome again after such a long and difficult campaign would be the just recompense to which you are entitled. Would be? What do you mean? The gold which was stolen from that convoy was the pay shipment for our troops. It's not the first convoy that's been ambushed. The situation is extremely delicate throughout the whole territory. The Cimbrians and the Germans are putting pressure on the frontiers of the Empire. I'm afraid the troops will be in a very bad humor if they don't get their pay. You're right. Many of the Transalpine legions have refused to fight. Some of the local regiments have even deserted. We've got to make absolutely sure that these convoys reach our troops safely. It's vital to us. But that's one of your duties. I don't envy you. Unfortunately, by order of the Emperor, I must proceed to Alasia with my legion at once. It's a lucky thing for me that we met this way. You'll go to Treviri. I have an idea you'll find out something there. Don't forget that my men have been away from Rome for nearly six years. Look. Look closely at this gold piece near the face of the Emperor Diocletian. You see the small cross? Yes, I see it. All the gold pieces in the convoy were marked like that. You have only to find out who has gold pieces like this to find the chiefs of the bandits. I know this is a task unworthy of a heroic fighter like yourself. But it's one way of avenging these men who died under the standard of Rome. All right. I'll go to Treviri. We're almost at Treviri. Valerius, go and find a hiding place for the men. How about over there? It looks as if there's a grotto. I don't like this business. There's something strange going on. Maybe we'd better not let them know who we are. Marcus, go and get some clothes ready. We'll disguise ourselves as merchants. Right. dozen of these to the tavern. Hey, you two. Who are you? What are you doing here? We are merchants. We're from Saguntium. You mean you left Spain to come to a place like this? Why not? Is there no business here in Treviri? Why, of course there's business here. It's just a matter of agreeing on the terms. What have you got in there? Necklaces. Nothing that has any value. Well, then, open it up. If 
if these haven't any value, then you won't object to my taking something as a souvenir. All right. Any objections, my friends? No. No objections. Get going, then. Nothing like Rome, but it's a pretty fine city. Where are we going? Let's go find a tavern and take the weight off our legs. And then we'll decide what we'll do next. Mm. My dear devoted friends, I drink a toast to the joys and pleasures which unfortunately this life bestows with such avarice. And for my part, I drink a toast to our lovely city of Treveri, which is fortunate to be governed by a man as wise and as just as you, Domitius. <laughs> Livia, you don't seem to be enjoying yourself much here. No, Aunt. I understand, Livia. Only, don't forget this is not the place to show openly the antipathy you feel for the people of Rome. Don't you believe it's justified? You don't have to tell me, my dear. Only for ladies of our position in society. It's our duty to keep our private thoughts to ourselves. And to act with diplomacy towards them. Hate them with a smile. Hmm? Very well, I'll try. They attacked another convoy 20 miles from here. And the gold? The gold was stolen. And all the men in the escort were massacred. Even though you and Scylla maintain the contrary, I'm sure the chiefs of this band of barbarians who've been stealing our gold are right here in Treviri. We must find those murderers at all costs. Don't worry, we'll find them. You'd better, as chief of the Praetorians, Brutus, you'll be held personally responsible for the success of the enterprise. I want you to close every gate to the city. Have all caravans of merchants rigorously checked and give orders to your Praetorian guard to arrest any suspicious persons on sight. I'll tell you one thing. It won't be long before there's a full-scale rebellion. Did you hear that the Praetorians had sacked the cattle market today? We don't mind obeying the Romans, but not this criminal band of Praetorians led by Brutus. That's right. But their iniquities will soon be over. The important thing is to remain united and to be ready to act. Foreigners, aren't you? From far away? What's your name? Sarah. And yours? Marcus. That name sounds wrong. Have you two come from Rome? You're a beautiful girl, Sarah, but your nose is too long. Arrest them! Get those two! They look like foreigners! Forward, guards!
here. Nobody came this way. Look for them over there. You others, follow me. you. Can we hide anywhere here? Yes, certainly. Come this way. Well, did you find anybody? No one who went as far as the eastern gate. Follow me. Come on, hurry. And so you escaped from the Praetorians, did you? Only because your niece helped us. Anyone who is threatened by Rome may count upon my assistance. Why do you hate the Romans? Her father was killed by the Romans. Isn't that a sufficient reason? Now please tell me where you both come from. <laughs> a distant country? Well, yes, quite. From Rome? Rome? No, from Spain. We've never been as far as Rome. After all, it's no place for simple merchants like us. It's strange. You don't look like merchants, actually. You've much more the style and the look of two aristocrats. Or even soldiers. Well, you're very, very kind. I'm afraid you're not sheltering two heroic survivors of many a battle. <laughs> no, we weren't born for warfare. But for peace, good meals, and the company of lovely ladies. And pieces of gold. By the way, show me what you have in that box. I hardly dare to. Our merchandise is poor and certainly unworthy of noble ladies like you. Oh, I never knew a merchant who refused to sell. As you wish. Excuse me. Oh, but it's a beautiful necklace. How much for it? Oh, nothing. Allow me to make you a present of it. Oh, no. I couldn't possibly accept. It must be worth at least one piece of gold. Here you are. Oh. This coin is really very finely minted. I'm certainly lucky to have found one of these pieces so soon. Is anything wrong? Oh, no. It's the new emperor, isn't it? Yes, Diocletian. They say as an emperor, he's unjust and cruel. I see you have no more wine. I I'll get you some. Uh, oh, that seems like a very good idea. Uh, maybe I'll be able to give you a hand. Thanks, I would appreciate it. Have you seen anybody? No, nobody came this way. Keep on looking. You others, follow me. Try this one, Marcus. <laughs> Exquisite. Even in Rome, I've never tasted better. Oh, but I thought you said that you hadn't been to Rome. What's it matter what I said? I much prefer to drink now. Here. No, I'd prefer to drink later. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. I must get a jug. Hey! What are you doing? Open! Open this door! Open this door or 
you'll be sorry. Now I come to think of it, you haven't told me your name. My name is Livia. And mine is Darius. Isn't that Roman? It's not my fault. After all, there must be some good Romans. No, I don't think so. They're cruel and merciless. They've conquered the world, oppressed the people, massacred soldiers. Well, I admit in a way you're right. How about the governor, Domitius? He's not a bad man, I suppose. But he obeys to the letter his orders from Rome, and that's one more reason why I loathe him. But you could go and live in another country. Why do you stay with your aunt? I couldn't leave her all alone. She's been so kind to me. She brought me here after the death of my father. I can sense something strange. She's different from you. Why do you say that? Just an impression. But I'm sure of one thing, she doesn't despise Romans. I believe she even agrees with them from some points of view. I don't understand. Please, I want to ask you a question. But don't answer if you don't want to. What's wrong? You're looking at me so strangely. Why? That piece of gold you gave me just now. Yes. Yeah. Open in the name of the governor. Open this door. Open what is it? It's the Praetorians. Where's Marcus? In the wine cellar. Is there another way out of there? Yes, come on. I'll come again when I have more leisure. Darius! This way. At the far end of the cellar, you'll find a door leading to the garden. Hurry. Watch out, Darius! It's no use. I tried it. And over there, at the far end... Nothing doing. We're on the right track, Marcus. That piece of gold had a cross on it. But now we've got to get out of this cellar. <laughs> I have an impression that for once we're really in a hole. We're trapped. There's no way out. What's going on? Why didn't you open it once? There were two men I was suspicious of. They'd have escaped if you hadn't happened to drop by. I thought they should be put in a safe place. So I locked them up because I wanted to make your work easier for you. And where are they? I'll show you. No, please, Aunt, you mustn't. You're too young to understand yet, Livia. You don't realize who those young men are. I know the laws of hospitality. They were my guests. They are Romans, Livia. They are in here. There's nobody here. I don't understand. They were here. They can't have gotten away. We'd better look around. It's now or never. Come on, quick. Excuse me, Livia. I don't have time to thank you for your hospitality. Goodbye. Who goes there? It's me, Darius, your commander. Stay on the alert. Double the guard. And above all, keep your eyes open. You two, watch the road. You others to the clearing. Well, there you are at last. We were beginning to get worried. Uh, so are we. Any news? From our side, nothing, but there's word from Claudius. I've come from Malaysia. 
Proconsul Claudius has sent further orders for you. orders to prepare a fake shipment of gold to tempt the barbarians into attacking. Marcus, you'll organize the wagon train, and Valerius will fill the gold chest with rocks. Varius, you'll go to Treveri at once to see Governor Domitius and ask him to send a few squadrons of reinforcements to us tomorrow at dawn. And with their aid, we'll smash these barbarians. soldiers. Assemble all our men quickly. We'll follow them a while. Only watch out that they don't spot us. And I don't want a sound out of anyone. Let's go.
the clearing where the last Roman convoy was attacked. Over there. Nothing left. Not a trace of anything. What's become of the burned out wagons? And where are the bodies? They've cleared everything away. There's certainly an ambush somewhere near waiting for us. So what are we to do? You'll go to the rear with a dozen men. And you, Mucius, take the other bank. You'll attack them in the rear when you think it's the right moment. Get going. Right. And you, Valerius, dispose the men to repel an attack. Dismount. Prepare to camp here. They've fallen into the trap like a brace of geese. Maybe you're right, but it seems a strange place for a commander to decide to pitch his camp. What do you mean? I don't understand. He's left himself completely open, and he doesn't seem to be posting sentries around the area. Either he's crazy or he's planning something. Archers ready? Yes, sir. They're all in position. Good work. Thank you. We'll attack with half our force. Stand by to come into action at my signal in case we're attacked from behind. Don't advance till I give the order. You think we'll make it without those reinforcements? I hope so, Marcus. Let's hope there are not too many of them.
There are more coming. We'll never hold off, Darius. Make an attack with your cohort. We must hold them at any price. Why don't you bring in Nevius and his men? What are they doing over there? Listen, the barbarians will try to attack us from the rear. If they get in behind, we'll get massacred. When Nevius thinks fit, he'll attack. Get moving now. Charge! Forward, men! Charge! We'll get them from the rear! He was trying to get away. One of their officers, I suppose. He was leading the column that moved in to attack us from behind. Good work. Maybe now we'll find out a few facts. No, I won't tell. All I want is the name of your chief. <clears throat> no, no, I'll never tell I you. I suppose you, you don't realize that we have lots of ways of making people like you loosen their tongues. So you are the renowned Darius. From what I see, Caesar's friend, Proconsul Claudius, has given you full powers. And I'll be happy to help you any way I can. When do you intend to begin your investigation? It's already done, Domitius. I've already found out who is responsible. Uh, have you arrested him? You can have that pleasure. We must waste no more time. We must leave at once. No, there's no point in leaving, Domitius. The man who led the barbarians to attack and rob the gold convoys of Rome is here in this palace right now. At this very moment, he is at your side. 
Are you completely insane? You had a mask over your face when you attacked me. But I recognized your voice. Domitius, I hope you don't believe this charge against me. Are you positively sure, Darius? What proof have you against him? I captured a barbarian named Grunus. He'll tell you everything. He'll give you all the proof you may need to hang this filthy murderer. He's gone on. He's waiting for us with Tarquinius in front of the tavern. Any orders for us? Nothing more for now. You don't seem to be too happy about discovering the man who's been robbing our convoys. No, I'm not, Octavius. You're right. I have the impression that I'm in the center of a conspiracy. I have a feeling we're in grave danger. I don't know from what or from where. Well, maybe if we find out where the gold's hidden, we'll find the answer to that. Maybe. But that's another odd thing. It's not easy to hide such an immense fortune in gold. Yeah, the barbarians might have taken it anywhere. No, the gold's somewhere in this town. I'm sure of it. But where? Octavius, go to the tavern. Find Marcus and wait for me there. Right. Let's go. Cited my lines well. Huh? You were just splendid. Darius is here in town. We'd better capture him and his men before they make contact with Claudius. Very well. Ah, I almost forgot something. Brutus. They tortured me. They forced me to tell. Don't, please. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps you'd better leave Traveri for a while. Where's the gold? Hidden in a good place? It's hidden safely away. Don't worry. Nobody will find it. Oh, where? I'll tell you when the moment is ripe. If you try to trick me, you'll... As I said before, don't worry. Get out now. Go away. You know, we're taking a very big chance, Augusta. Before long, we'll go away together. Loaded with gold. Far away from Rome and everything. <laughs> Please. Please go. Why the bungling I idiot? I think we should keep an eye on him. How about the gold? Are you sure it's in a safe place? What if somebody finds it? The gold is hidden somewhere that nobody would think of. And when will I have my share? You'll get it when we've gotten rid of Darius. And not till then. I'll come back and see you later. Look at all these beautiful girls here. Yes. Said to meet him here. 
Well, this is a surprise. Haven't I met you here before? I don't think so. It's the first time I've come here. <laughs> Talk for the circus tomorrow? Yeah, I'll meet you in front of the governor's house. Arius, over here. Ah. Uh, bring some more wine, please. somewhere. In what way? Well, Brutus led those barbarians. Only I'm sure he's not the chief of the band. Oh, do you mean to say there's somebody else behind him? Yes. Maybe I'll find out who before long. But if what I suspect is true, we're in very grave danger. Marcus, get the men together and go and wait for me in the grotto. Nevius, take a squadron of men and go to Proconsul Claudius' camp and tell him to come and meet me in Treveri as fast as possible. Right. What about you? Don't worry about me. But why not let me come along with you? No, this is something I got to do myself. Just when I was going to buy you all a flagon of wine. Oh. <laughs> You're a Roman. I wanted to tell you before, but if you remember, I didn't have time. Why did you come here again? I can see that you're not pleased. On the contrary, I wanted to see you. But as a merchant, not a soldier. I'll dress as a merchant if that will please you. May I offer you some wine? <laughs> I'm touched by your hospitality. Could you be thinking of taking me to your wine cellar? Oh, Darius, I didn't know about that. I swear I didn't know about it. You understand me. You know how I hate the Romans. But I could never betray a man who was a guest in my house. Stay where you are! Brutus. You weren't expecting me, were you? Now at last I understand. But a little too late, I'm afraid, Darius. It's useless to try to resist. The house is surrounded. Take him away! Take him away! No. Quickly! Livia? Who are you? What do you want? Believe me, I want to help you. I followed Commander Darius here, and I saw him being arrested by those men. Yes, well, you love him, don't you? That's not your business. He's in terrible danger, Livia, and a great deal more danger than he thinks. How do you know about that? I heard them talking in the tavern. But by good fortune, his men are safely outside the town in a grotto where the forest begins. We must tell them what's happened. They are Romans. Well, if you're not going to do anything, I'll have to go and warn them. Wait a minute. Centurion Marcus. Oh, ho. I see we have visitors. This is a good chance to pay you back for your recent hospitality. If you like. But first, let me tell you that Darius was arrested by the Praetorians. Arrested? When and how? Not very long ago, at my house. I might have known it. And naturally, I suppose you didn't know the Praetorians would come to your house and arrest Darius. You didn't know that. No, I didn't know it. Oh, won't you please listen? I have no reason to lie. I know exactly what you must be thinking of me. But there's no time to stand here arguing. He's in terrible danger. He'll get killed. I could read it in Brutus' eyes when he took him away. Brutus? Did I hear you say Brutus arrested him? Yes. Why do you ask me that? Because I know that Brutus is in jail now. I was in the palace when Domitius had him arrested. And you expect us to believe he's at liberty. But Livia's telling the truth, Marcus. I was there, I saw Brutus at her house myself. Oh, I beg of you, please, Marcus, don't you understand? I'm telling you the truth. We haven't a minute to waste. We must save Darius.
What did Darius say when he saw Brutus? He just stood and looked at him and then he said, Now I believe I understand. Yes. Darius was suspicious of someone. But who? All right, Livia, so what do you think we ought to do? I'm not sure. Maybe I should take you to the prison first. Yes, and of course, there we'll run into Brutus in his Praetorium. You mustn't go, Marcus. It's a trap, I tell you. If that's what you think. I have nothing else to say. I'll go and rescue him myself. Livia, it's madness. You'll never be able to rescue him alone. Marcus, she loves him. Prepare your weapons. We're going to the city to rescue Darius. Prepare your weapons! Get going! Stay here with your men. Only take action in case of emergency. Quickly, we've come for Darius. Thank <laughs> you. 
us and then they escaped. Sound the alarm. Go close all the city gates. You, go and find Augusta. Escort her to the palace. Sound the alarm. Quick, we must get out of the town. Let's go, men. Forward. They won't get away this time. Follow me. Alarm. Shut the city gates. Alarm. We'll go to the tavern. now. Over there. Praetorians, watch oh, out. Sarah, you'd better hide for a while. And you? You mustn't worry about me. Now we're trapped, Darius. We'll never be able to get out of Treveri. What'll we do? There's only one way out of this, even if it means taking a grave risk. We'll have to stake everything on the throw of a dice. We'll go to the governor's palace. You'll be arrested. You'll never get away. They'll kill you all. That remains to be seen. Farewell. Come, Lydia. Come on, let's get going. of Rome. In the name of Proconsul Claudius, I arrest you. You're mad, Darius. You presume to talk like that to me, the governor of this province? Another trust you betrayed. You are a miserable traitor. I should have realized at once that you were the chief of the robbers. You'll repent for having spoken such rash words. No, I don't think so, Domitius. Arrest him. There they are. Forward, men. Forward! Augusta, come on. 
through the Struces this way. They mustn't get away. Demicious at all cost. I'm sure he won't leave Treveri without the gold. I believe I know where he has it hidden. Others have gone down to the cellars. And Livia? I don't know. We both came here together, then she asked me to wait, and I haven't seen her since. Mm. You stand guard here. You others come with me. Thank <laughs> you. 
were very clever. Your courage and bravery are remarkable and deserve to be rewarded, my dear Darius, but I'm unable to give them their due. Unfortunately, I must act against you. And at once. I've no alternative. Do whatever you wish, Domitius, but remember, you'll have to face the justice of Rome. Well, I represent the justice of Rome, Darius. I'm the governor of all Gaul. My men will bear witness that I found you stealing the gold belonging to the emperor. For that, I have condemned you to be executed. You and all your soldiers, perform the sentence. Hold in the name of the emperor. Claudius. <laughs> My mission is finished, Claudius. Here is the gold of Rome. Domitius was responsible for the robberies which put the empire in jeopardy. This woman was his accomplice. Your life should be forfeit for your complicity in this crime, but enough blood has already been spilled for that gold. Rome's justice is implacable, but not cruel. You'll go into exile, beyond the frontiers of the empire. Take her away. Darius, it's with gratitude that Rome confides the future of the Empire to a man as brave as you are. It gives me pleasure to nominate you Governor of Treveri. This sword in my arm will always be in the service of Rome. Farewell, Darius. I, too, am at your service, Governor. Do you still hate the Romans? No more, my darling. 